What was the best 80s computer? When you conjure up images of the 80s, it's neon lights, big hair, and of course, the nascent beast known as the personal computer. Each model was like a different character from The Breakfast Club, and picking the best one almost feels like a disservice to a decade of silicon innovation. But if we're talking impact and a certain degree of timelessness, I've got to tip my hat to the Commodore 64. This machine was something of a technological marvel back in the day. It was the family car of computers, not too fancy to be unaffordable, but with enough under the hood to take you places you never thought you could go. The C64 rocked a MOS 6510 processor, which might not stoke the fires of tech junkies nowadays, but was the driving force behind the golden age of bedroom coding. It was as if every kid with a Commodore 64 suddenly had the keys to the digital kingdom. Games, programming, a little bit of office work. This thing did it all. Let's not forget the sound. The SID sound chip in the C64 could whip out tunes that made the MIDI files of the era weep in shame. This became the backbone of chiptune music, which still has a cult following to this day. But the Commodore 64 wasn't just a solo act. I live in Portland, Oregon, and there's a dedicated retro gaming scene here that still holds the C64 in high regard. People gather, swap stories, exchange game cartridges. It's a legacy that won't quit. In the grand tapestry of 80s computers, the C64 for me was the linchpin. It brought computing to the masses and did so with style, versatility, and an open door to creativity. Back in the 80s, riding the wave of the personal computing revolution was like catching the perfect tube on a gnarly day at Cannon Beach. Thrilling, unpredictable, and totally rad. The Commodore 64 was the board everyone wanted under their feet. Yeah, there were other impressive machines like the Apple Macintosh, Atari 800, and the IBM PC. But the C64? It democratized computing. You didn't need to rock a suit or a lab coat to get in on the action. Every time you fire up a Raspberry Pi or tinker with an Arduino, there's a little bit of the Commodore 64's DNA in there whispering, thanks for keeping the dream alive. And for those of us who remember the 80s, whenever we see a pixelated sprite or hear an 8-bit tune, somewhere in the back of our minds, the Commodore 64 is nodding in approval, its keys worn but still ready for one more adventure.